So I've read Harbor by Garth Greenwell and the story is about the author and his ongoing struggle with accepting his sexuality while on a trip. He says he's hungry for the ocean and the new scenery since he's been so deprived of having some place to escape to. He's a writer, but he teaches since he can't find a writing job. He says that he's tired of teaching and wants a new life. He said, I went out in search of feeling, I suppose, or maybe the absence of feeling. This is regarding to both his teaching life and his sexual life. The entire story is about his experience with a group of Bulgarian and American writers who come together to drink, and they decide to spin a bottle in order to choose which American will pair off with which Bulgarian to share writing ideas. He goes throughout the town looking at shops and drinking on the beach with this group, and he thinks of his ex who he's been with for three years and who actually broke up with him before the trip. He went on this trip to clear his mind about him, but instead he struggles with missing him um, but he also wanting to destroy everything his ex made out of him. Everywhere he looks, he keeps on looking at other guys and realizes that he could, he has the potential to be with any guy, but he continues to test these boundaries as if like he can or can't be with them um, with expressing his sexuality throughout the story. Since the town's full of churches and created by Greeks, he thinks of when he stayed silent in the past due to his disordered life. He views the corruption of the church and the men he sees how vulnerable the youngest American, who is a woman, is subjected to when they keep on telling her to drink. This was especially true of the priests whose attentions had gone quickly from charming to comic and then as they persisted, quite disquieting. He talks about the corruption of the church with the priests who refused to meet his gaze all day. He says, but it wasn't his accent that made him distant with me, I thought, though maybe it was uncharitable of me to assume he shared this view of his colleagues or some of his colleagues. Like the priest who had called the previous summer for all decent people to line in the route of the pride parade and throw stones at the queers. He talks about his past a lot by saying, I don't recognize the person I was then. And when I read my journal from that time or the handful of poems I wrote, I wanted to unmake myself, it seems to me now. I wanted to fit myself into a system that would deform it so entirely it would become unrecognizable, meaning, you know, society and how they view gay people. Uh, so throughout the story, he has many desires of men that he recognizes throughout the, the story. Uh, although it seems as if he's coming to terms with his sexuality and desires, this seems to change with some of his actions while having an encounter with another man in the story, along with a discussion with another writer. The ending leaves us with the question, is he truly secure or is he having to, or is he trying to run away from his desires? Is he passing or is he not? I think this question can also be applied to anybody about anything. Um, when we try to escape something, what do we do with our past desires? Do we eventually become secure with them or do we not? And is there something in your life right now you tell yourself you're secure with when you're truly not or vice versa? Are we self-sabotaging ourselves because we're afraid of what could happen? So overall, I think this is a wonderful story to read and I would definitely recommend everybody to read this.